Hey y'all, welcome back to another YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. I wake from my slumber. I wish I could call you up. This sounds just good. My name is if you guys are coming just coming back, my name is Asar Bedouani. This is my third YouTube video um this year. Um uh, I can't say more. Alright, so this video, as you guys can see, the title is What We Should Leave in 2022. It's 2023. I was preparing myself to say all this. I was looking at videos, looking at things that I know that we should leave in 2022. Okay? I have a list. I have a list on my phone. This is my other phone. I have a list on things that we should leave in 2022. Sorry, things we should leave in 2022. As of 2023, we're trying to start up this year great with new friends, new, you know, body um, images, new everything, because we want this year to go better than it went for the last few years. So, for the last few years, we've been experiencing things that we should not be experiencing as of 2023, because if we're trying to learn something new or be in a better environment, we should know that certain things should be left in a certain year you know first things first racism now listen we've been dealing with racism since this world was funded or made whatever founded whatever but it should stop because you guys are just being like it's not even racism anymore at this time it's just latent hate like you're just hating people for no apparent reason like you guys see these people all the time why are we hating on them you're gonna see them whether you like them or not they're literally living in their world the environment okay stop being racist and i'm not only talking about white people stop being racist okay another thing colorist now colorist has been something that people think is fake just like how race they think racism racism and colorist are two things that they think are fake because they don't experience it but I promise you racism and colorists are very very much true and they should just stop because at this point what are you guys fighting for color oh, because you need to be a little lighter you be cuter no some of them light babies are ugly walking around looking like cockroaches with light skin and you're like oh she's so pretty no she's not no, he's not. No, they're not. No. No. Okay? Because it's, 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 it's disgusting at this point. It's disgusting. Now, uh, I've been searching TikTok, and my TikTok has a lot of things that I don't like to see sometimes. But I have to see anyway because it's a for you page. Um, and one of the things I've seen all was... Um, the dysphoria war um that should be left in 2022 because why are we fighting why are we fighting we all look the same if i didn't tell you guys i was nigerian you wouldn't know i was nigerian you know so why are we fighting who are we fighting like that's that's who we should be fighting who are we fighting that's that's what needs to be addressed we need to fight who we need to fight okay because it, it don't make sense we're all beautiful we're all cute we are all the same literally we literally say the same like sometimes y'all be like same things and i'll be like oh like jamaican they be like bikini and on nigerians we say peking uh that peking so you see it's literally it's the same thing same words y'all we're just in different continents learn to love each other okay now this comment if you go on tiktok you see this comment every freaking where baby this comment be pissing me off like you'll be sitting and you'll be enjoying your food or you'll be sitting and you'll be doing something and next thing you hear is uh as soon as you go into the comment section is only in ohio huh only in ohio only in ohio and some of the comments are pissing me off especially when it comes to like cultural foods or um like 
culture, blah, blah, blah. And the first comment you see is only in Ohio. This is somebody's culture. Someone's culture. I'm not even gonna explain no more. But only in Ohio. What? Uh, I would say high gas prices, but we got that to deal with. Let's leave that in 2022, okay? Okay. Um, this whole concept, gay son, dot daughter, it, it don't make sense to me. Why are we picking, like, huh? I'm just, I'm not even gonna explain it further. Gay son, dot daughter. I'm not even gonna put that. But gay son, dot daughter, that whole concept needs to go. The mall video people. I'm gonna post a view for you of those because sometimes they be pissing me off. They be coming up to you like you're shopping. First of all, sometimes you're not even going there to be cute or you, you are cute or something, but you're just going there to shop. And next thing you know, you see this person run up to you. Hey, 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 hey. And you'll be like, what, what's up? They'll be like, um, tell us how much your fit costs. Tell us how much your fit costs. Would you rather have a gay son or a thought daughter? <laughs> would you take this much cookies or this money? What would you do? It, it's, it's stupid. It, it irritates me. It happened to me at Walmart. They don't even stop at any fucking malls. They go to any store they can go to. They'll go to Walmart later and I'll be like, gay son, thought daughter. Who do you think is cuter? <sighs> like why are y'all talking to me? I'm trying to shop for my family. Go, go. Like, it, I don't know when or how this whole, that whole thing came to be, but it, it is irritating. It's just irritating. Let's leave that in 2022, okay? Um, The whole construct of beauty. Now, like the same thing. This is the same thing that goes with racism, colorist, and diaspora wars. Made the whole concept of beauty um, in America, but now it's kind of changing. But we need to stop putting girls against each uh, girl. Um, I'm not conventionally pretty. I I think I'm not, but I've experienced. I've been in situations where I experienced people like, "Oh, you look like a monkey," and it's like. <sighs> It hurts, but it's been like that for years. People will say stuff like that for years, and no one would change how you know people feel like. And they'll be like, "Oh, you're not you. You are pretty." Blah, blah, blah. But if you are conventionally pretty, people will be like, "Oh, you must have been pretty." Like it's it's, it's just something with beauty. Beauty itself needs to rearrange how beauty is or just not be beauty at all the whole world the whole word pretty came about because of beauty and if people don't see it I feel like because like like i said when this whole the whole thing don't make sense to me because they have a whole phrase to say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder so that means just because the world might not see you beautiful someone will see you beautiful and I, i'm just like duh the world might not see you beautiful because they want to follow this whole concept of, oh, I need to look like her and look like them, look like that. But if you are yourself, you be yourself, you look yourself, you're going to find you beautiful. Like, duh. You're going to be beautiful whether you like it or not. You are beautiful. Shit. I remember that shit. Remember, you are beautiful. And this one. Andrew Tate fans. Have you heard? He's in jail. That man is in jail. You'll be joining him too. So, like, they're so like you guys are so pressed on, especially band that be following this a person. And the ones that piss me off is the pick me girls that be like, oh, Andrew Tate said that you're supposed to no. Andrew Tate don't even. Andrew Tate is not even. Ugh. Andrew Tate don't even. Mm. Andrew Tate is in jail, him and his brother. People are like, oh, we should support blah, blah, blah. No, don't. His whole view on life is corrupted. All you think about life is getting money, living money, having money, seeing money, being money. It's not cute. 
It's not cute. And then when they be like, oh, females, oh, how much do your Bugatti cost? Man, what? You think, like, one of, he used to be like one of the nerds that, you know, people would be like, oh, he, he weird. Like, one of those nerds that people think they're weird. And then they got money. And now uh, he's like, anytime somebody say, oh, you're weird, his whole fight back is, how much does your Bugatti cost? You know what? You're, you're ugly. <laughs> I don't care how much of a guy it costs. Like, he is one of those people that get men that get pissed off when they flaunt their money. And then when they get girls that love money or love materialistic items, he and they only use you for those materialistic items. You get pissed off because they use you for your, the money that you flaunted to them. That's who he is. And that's how, that's how, that's who he is to me. Like, that's, he's one of those people. And it, Eric Spiner is that. It get into these young boys' minds, and I'm talking about young boys in middle school, high school, the ones that were, we were all locked up in 2020, 2019, 2020, 2021, and they're all like influenced by this man that don't get girls that love him. He only get girls that love him to realistic items, and those girls will use him and break his heart. He probably got his heart broken, and he's using it as a a weapon to hurt and and hurt women and make men think that oh as a high value man <sighs> how exciting is he's he, he gets on my nerves i'm happy that he's in jail but i'm really sad and plus now that you guys know that he's using women as a thing to get his money you guys should really think about it because is that man really is that man really who you want to follow <laughs> is he who you really want to follow oh just ask him <laughs> He needs to stay in jail. And let's leave him in 2022. <laughs> let's leave that man in 2022. Okay. Um, but let's go back. People who can take what take out take what they dish. Oh, like they'll say the most meanest and stupidest and ugliest thing to you, right? And they'll be like, and when you say something back, they get in their feelings hurt, mad, and all these things. And you look at them like, didn't you just tell me this? And I'm like, but I was just joking. You weren't joking. You were saying that. You were saying that because you knew what you, you knew what you were doing. And then when I dish it back out to you, don't get pissed off that I did the same thing. You did that to me. Okay? You did that to me because it don't make sense. It don't make sense. If you keep like people are like, oh, they're my friend. Oh, they're not your friend. They like talking about you because they know it's it's for laughs and jokes. And if I do something for laughs and jokes and it hurts your feelings, then you should be able to take that back. You take it as much as I like, dished out to you. Like if I, I just see these videos of this every freaking where they'll be like, oh, especially they'll be like, oh, um, oh, you remember that one time of that one time? And you'll be like, oh, you remember that one time when I punched you in your face? They'll be like, oh, I'm just joking. No, you wasn't. You, you wasn't doing what you wanted to do. So I just, I just copied you. I thought it was a trend. Just copied you, you know? You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just talking at this point. Let's move on. Podcast. Podcast men. And that podcast girls. The pick me girls and pick me men that go on these podcasts, create podcasts, mm -hmm. and talk about all these things they have no business talking about. And you guys know. Like, they're like Andrew Tate. They're like, what's that girl? Pearl? Whatever her name is. They don't... They forget people have opinions and they forget that other people's opinions matter in the conversation that you're talking about. The you men podcast the killing me. It's like, you know, they just sit and think that what they're saying makes sense. This is how their podcast goes sometimes. As a high value man, why isn't my wife cooking for me? Why? It's in my wife. Do this. Get this. Y'all have to sit and realize that at the end of the day, y'all are not in relationships because of what y'all say. And if you want to be in a relationship with somebody, you have to look into yourself. You're not in a relationship because you're looking, you're constantly looking for one, but then you're not looking for the right people that fit your own perspective. And you're publicly posting this and you expect to be in a relationship, forgetting that women are detectives and they could detect and they could search you up everywhere and they could find you out. And once they find you out, you're not gonna get a woman. High value. Hey. <laughs>
I'm sorry. That got that got me. That got me. That got me high. That got me high. Sorry. That got me high. Inflation. I know I'm constantly making this everybody's business, but inflation. Inflation needs to stay in 2022. Why are eggs nine dollars? That's even that's like a good store. And most stores it's even more than that. I had to go get me a little drink, y'all. I had to go get me a little drink. A little, a little something, something. Why are we paying that much for eggs? Like, I can't even say nothing no more about gas. Gas went down. But before it was like a good $8, $6. $6 per gallon for gas. Normally, when I, before, I when I used to drive, uh, when I had my permit, you know, like what, 2019, 2020? 2019, 2020. Gas was $2 a gallon. $2, $3, $3 at most. Now it's like $4, $5. Like it has been so expensive for what? And I have, my car takes premium gas. So imagine my car takes premium gas and I have to pay like now extra money because. But that, that's to me, it's crazy. So yeah, that's how I'm like, I can't, I can't do high inflation it's, it's it's crazy inflation it's crazy please let's go back to how we were without the covid um the car the quirky the quirky astrology girls now don't get me wrong i'm all about astrology i love the whole concept of astrology don't get me messed up just because we are uh learning about astrology doesn't mean that you have to compare me to everything make sense Sometimes some of the astrology stuff be calling me out, and I'm like, "Oh, that's crazy. That's me." But that doesn't mean make it your whole response. Don't don't make it your whole life. You know? Don't make it your whole life. Yeah, there's astrology for a reason, but then you have to really think about it. Why are you making it your whole life? It it, it don't make sense. Like you go meet, you go talk to, you just random, you go talk to them. And they be like, um, so, what's your sign again? This is, this is them. What's your sign again? Oh, a Virgo? Y'all are so violent. What? I don't know what Virgos are, baby. I don't even know what they do. I, I hate it. Like, just because of astrology doesn't mean you make your friends based on those. If the world, the universe, or God, Yahshua, um, Yahweh, if they want you to to be with this person or know this person, he's going to put you in their life whether you like it or not. That's why. He wanted you to experience those things for a reason. So stop making it a whole... It's like a whole religion, a whole cult at this point. Chill, relax. I understand you are a Gemini. I understand you are Virgo. That doesn't mean you got to make everybody else's life all about just your sign. I understand. <laughs> okay. All right. Our next one is the BBL Warriors. BBL Warriors. BBL Warriors. Yes, 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 yes. I understand your body love it very much girl positivity yay but please take your time and finding who your doctor is going to be so it don't look crazy so you don't go out here looking stupid and um this is something that's going to change your body and you have to make sure that you have your body cleansed before you go into surgery because i've been i had a um biopsy and i had to make sure i didn't eat for like what 12 hours so make sure your body is clean your body is able to be able to take this video because if not you will you remember that whole thing where they're like oh you know when you was at the when they asked cardi oh when you was at the bbl's doctors that i gave you milk and cookies yes because she didn't take care of her body when she was posted before she got those bbl's so if you're trying to alter your body or do whatever do what you want to do but make sure when you're paying because it's the money that you're paying when you're paying your money make sure your body comes out honestly the way you want it to look you have to consider how your body is shaped you have to consider all those things because most people like i don't know about me but most people their body kind of like straight and then big but you need to make sure like if you want it it has to 
sometimes you have to look at your body shape some girls want it like this but their body is shaped like this and then they get a butt so it's like a mm, I'm gonna dry it out mm, and then the other person will look like this because it, it's like flowing into I don't know how to explain it but I never got a BBL I never will get one um when you're putting money into something that you know you're going to use for you're going it's going to be on your body for a long time make sure it fits you make sure it looks good on you make sure you look good in it make sure it fits you okay thank you now our next one is the me personally i say that i say that a lot but i'm, I'm gonna tell you guys why i went to things 2022 me personally is something that irks me sometimes so if it depends on where where i'm at so if i'm in a situation it irks me and if that i'm not in a situation it's funny but me personally it's just another instigating term um and it it, it hurts because i i love me personally but we gotta leave it in 2022 okay it's it's cute but we need to leave it in 2022 okay another one the plain james and pretty girls if you guys know on tiktok a few months ago maybe a month ago um there was this one girl that'd be like oh, why do not why do men don't like plain james and why are the girls blah, 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 like why do men like at the end of the day no matter who you are you're gonna get cheated on if he don't want you like do you not realize that men don't care they don't so you know be yourself they don't care they don't care if you look as beautiful as Beyonce. They don't care how beautiful you are. They don't care how ugly you are. That's what I meant to say. They don't care. They will still cheat on you. They don't care if you're Rihanna, Beyonce. <laughs> as you guys can tell, Cardi B. They will cheat if they want to cheat. They don't care. They will cheat. That's how I feel like if you are talking about people and be like, oh man, I should date me or man. Why aren't those men dating you? Why aren't you in a relationship with those men that you're asking for? Because they don't want you. Let's, let's repeat that. They will cheat if they want to cheat. They don't care. Okay? So the first thing you guys should be worried about is who's playing Jane and who's pretty girls. That's ugly. Stay that away. That's give me pick me energy. Pick me, pick me. Did they pick you yet? Pick me, pick me. Please stay there. Relax. Enjoy life. Okay. Oh, this is a, one of the things we should leave in 2020. Two. Ready? Rock. Christian Rock. Don't come from here if you don't want to win no fight. But Christian Rock and Blueface. We should leave the toxicity in 2022. We don't want that toxic relationship no more. And if you guys really, if I'm sitting here, I'm really telling you guys that relationship having a whole freaking show is pushing us back years. We're getting pushed back years. That's that it was that's what's giving me. I don't like the whole thing that people are really just here sitting on it and be like, oh, they're so beautiful. They're so cute. They're not cute together. They both need therapy. They both need love. They both need compassion. And the love that they think is love is really not love. And most people are in relationships like this till this day. We shouldn't we shouldn't be having these type of relationships. It it's irky, it's nasty, it's disgusting. And I'm not blaming on nobody because they got together themselves. They can both leave if they want to. Nobody should be leaving if they don't want to leave. Okay? But we should leave them <laughs> as a couple in 2022. There are multiple facilities for them to get help. If they want to get help, they'll get help. But we should leave them as a whole in 2022. Okay? We should leave them as a whole in 2022. We don't want that no more. Uh, anyways, that's all I have for today. Uh, 